Hey YouTube, this is Dyfly Fish. I just want to show you something. I have a neon tube that's attached to the Tesla style burst circuit, shunted. And I just want to show you um, activation with a short across this. Instead of using a spark gap, using a neon tube, what the overall radioactive output is in comparison to using the substantive milieu with a spark gap itself. So here we have count of nine in the last few seconds, 12. I'm going to activate the system now. Here we go. We're seeing this is the energy that's going across the spark gap. Instead of a spark gap, we're using a neon tube. No appreciable increase in radioactivity at all. Now, what we are going to do now is I'm going to back this up and I'm going to leave a modest spark gap of approximately 1.5 inches there. I'm going to activate the spark gap and you will notice a marked difference in radioactive output from the circuit itself, still utilizing the neon tube as a substantive portion of the spark gap phenomenology. Here we go. So for what it's worth, the surrounding milieu the spark gap discharge across the capacitive oscillatory discharge of this circuit is of significant difference with regard to what is emanating from the system. This discharge is a substantial issue that needs to be addressed for what it's worth. Thanks for watching. And for all the naysayers, I'm going to remove the shunt from the circuit, still having the 1.5 inch gap there from this Tesla, spark, uh, Tesla stop bar circuit. Let's see what the radioactive output is non-shunted. Here we go. It's not even showing up visually, but you see there's a non-visual dark mode plasma discharge between the electrode here. You see a neon arcing here. You can see the red arcing, but there's no visible electric discharge. We're seeing an oscillation even in this fine electric wire input here, but we're not seeing any form of electric um, radioactive discharge. Now what I'm going to do is try to, without electrocuting myself, move the discharge so that we can still see a inductive discharge past 1.5 inches. We are still seeing a glow activation here, but no form of glow activation here. So here I go. We're watching the Geiger counter here. Now we're seeing this. Now with the, with the glow discharge, we're still seeing no significant at all radioactive discharge. So again, I argue the shunted Tesla stealth bar circuit is of substantial an unequivocal difference between a normal inductive discharge. For all it's worth, just watch what the Geiger counter is producing with the same energy input. The only difference is one piece of aluminum. Thanks for watching. System off.